Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today we're taking a look at Slapstick from the upcoming update. This is a test server. This is the APK. I am a star agent, and you are all beautiful people watching. And this is provided by Netmarble, so everything you see, of course, is subject to change. And you know what else is subject to change? Slapstick, baby, because every time you press a skill with him, this is so cool. Every time you press a skill with him, he changes. This is the first character in Marvel Future Fight to have a conditional animation for his for him, for himself, for the for the for the base look. It's almost like he's got a uniform within this modern look. Uh, and it's not so modern, it's actually very cartoon. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about because it's so hard to see it in game. And I think and in a fight. And that's one of the things that I think Marvel Future Fight and the devs could really work on is removing some of the animations. I know that sounds crazy, and I don't mean the characters' animations, but removing some of the other animations because it's so hard to see sometimes what's going on. When you talk about strikers in World Boss, they, they beam in, they beam out. There's all these extra animations that just don't need to be there. They could really t clean that up, touch that up. Um, so we could focus on the beautiful stuff that they're doing for actual characters. And this is one of, if not the most beautiful uh, and most creative that I've ever seen. So check this out. This is Slapstick looking like a Marvel Future... F like, if you were to drag Slapstick into Marvel Future Fight, this is what he would look like. What happens when you press a skill? Oh, he turns into a comic book, and then he turns back! Isn't that dope? Now, you know, listen. Remember, like I said this before... There's three reasons why you purchase a character. That's not purchase. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. But there's three reasons why you build up a character. You build up the character because they're super strong. You build up the character because you love the character, even if they're not particularly strong. Like you love Carnage or you love Venom or whatever. And third, you build it up for the culture. And I've zoomed it on Satana. Okay? But this is part of the culture. And so uh, I'm not saying that you should go out and spend $10 because, by the way, he is a bio subscription character. I'm not saying you should go out and spend $10 to get slapstick but i am saying that he is extremely unique in a game with 205 characters 206 characters excuse me in a game with 206 characters he is tremendously unique and he's also very good so let's let's talk really quickly about his skills and what you can expect so he's universal and he is a physical attacking character and i pointed that out to you guys um in the video back when i was covering the the update sort of at a glance because I, in my mind, was like, man, there's not really many good blast, or excuse me, universal um, physical damage dealing characters. And you guys set me straight. You guys answered me in the comments, and I love it. I always love to see that you guys drop more knowledge than me because that means that I'm doing a good job as a creator if my fans can correct me on stuff. I shouldn't always have the answer, so it was wonderful. So I had said in my video, I'm pretty sure I said Thanos, Black Dwarf, and um, one other character. I think, I can't remember who I said. But anyways, you guys hit me up and reminded me Ghost Panther also deals physical damage, um, and he's a physical damage dealing character. That's absolutely right, and I think there was one other character that also deals physical damage, but this was the big one. And Ghost Panther is very good, and he's a physical attacking, physical damage dealing uh, character, but... Slapstick's still pretty unique, and he's unique for a lot of different reasons, so let's check it out. His tier 2 passive is actually kind of weak, so this would be possibly an interesting character to have at tier 1. Um, for those of you that have a bio subscription that's running out soon, um, I think I think Slapstick could be one of the best tier 1 uh, characters in the game. I, I want to put that out there, because at tier 1, he unlocks his Slapstick show passive, where he gets to revive. So you will have a reviving tier 1 character, and all of his best abilities are on his skills. His tier 2 passive, it does buff him. It gives him all attack, all defense, all speed, and it gives him skill damage, bonus damage. So he might hit pretty... he might not have a, a, a big punch. He might hit pretty softly and, and be kind of weak offensively, but he's still going to be super fun to play, and he'll be able to revive, so even if you make a mistake with him, you're not out of the game yet. So let's take a look at what he has. He's got a uh, fifth skill with six seconds of invincibility, it's got an iframe, and it has accumulation of damage dealt to the enemy. So just using this skill will buff your damage for the next 10 seconds. And it's on a 21 second cooldown, which is a little awkward. It's uh, it's 10 and a half seconds. So you basically have the buff up all the time though. But because this is on a 10 and a half second timer, you don't want to proc on the skill. You want to proc on Mallet Twister. Mallet Twister is on a 13 second cooldown, so you can spam this baby every six and a half seconds. And oh, it's got minus 50% all defense, baby, for eight seconds. So that's awesome. On top of having plus 60% all defense, super armor, 
and all attack, all speed, crit rate. So he's got a 30-30 with the crit rate. Easy to cap his crit rate and then to go for crit damage. For the obelisk, that's exactly what I did. We've got a crit damage 200 proc obelisk here. Um, and then on his other skills, the third skill just, just deals damage. It's got the, it's the rolling boulder bomb, beautiful animation. The two skill is nice because it gives him not only chance to penetrate, but it gives him four seconds of immunity. So you combo the immunity on two with the damage on four, because four doesn't have an iframe in order to protect himself. And then one has damage there. So really strong abilities, you know, 10 seconds of protection between the four seconds of immunity and the six seconds of invincibility, revive all defense down, 30% attack buff and 30% crit rate buffs. Uh, for the uh, ISO 8 said here we've got Power of Angry Hulk, and then you saw there from the uh, stats on his details page, we're almost capped on Ignore Defense cooldown, and then we've got 24% crit, which is going to jump to 54% with that fourth skill buff, and then we've got 158 crit damage. Not an amazing stat line here, but we don't have many Uru at all, just wanted to put that out there for you guys, but we do have the uh, gears maxed out, and the gears have some pretty good stats, it's got cooldown there, um, and then we got cooldown there again with HP, so let's take a look at how he plays, because that's really going to be that's I think that's really going to be the biggest selling point of slapstick is how he plays so we're going to jump into a stage 35 proxima uh, we're going to go ahead and use of course slapstick uh, and then we're going to bring in Hyperion for the extra all attack bonus and then we're just going to bring in um, let's just get Shuri we're just going to use one support not a big deal we don't want to use strikers we want to see we want to focus on you know he might not be the strongest character in Marvel future fight straight up you're not going to get him because he's going to push the meta, but he has unique abilities. He's got all defense down. He's got revive. Um, but I think really it's about the look of the character. The look of the character is by far um, one of the best in the game. So I missed my I missed my proc there, but we're going to open with five. We're going to proc with five, actually. Uh, we let that play out, basically, all the way to the end, and then we pop two. We get the little beams. Then we, oh, we got guard broken. We go into four for the all defense down. We're supposed to proc on four. He's got long range in the fifth, so you can sort of catch up back there. We're going to cancel two into four with the all defense down. Okay, we've been a little bit late on some of these rotations. We're taking a little bit of damage here, but here we go. It's re There's really a reliance on... Nice. There's really a reliance on... Um... Oh, what's going on with the spears? They're all wonky. There is really a, a reliance on five and four as his main damage dealing skills, but it works. So here we go, we added the all defense down, and then we're banging, we're banging, we're banging. We're going to cancel two into four. There we go, big damage, beautiful. We got kind of trapped there for a little bit. The spears are chasing us. We get two, and we cancel that into four for the proc. Nice. And then we jump into five. Just beautiful animations. Uh, I really cannot get enough of them. Super unique. I mean, you never see something like this in Marvel Future Fight. Um, iframe on three to protect yourself, and then we're back into two into four we're gonna have to run away here because i think she brought the spears down no she didn't bring the spears down okay keep hammering away now we went up against proxima of course because he deals physical damage so you're not going to want to fight against Cull obsidian it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward there um but look at that look at that almost a bar of damage uh with a regular obelisk he's got super fast movement speed as well very cartoony look at this and proxima is the perfect character to uh, show you guys these spears are never gonna hit me. I can sprint around the arena so quick Oh, 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 you can't touch me. You can't touch me, baby. Oh, you touched me. Okay <laughs> All right game over you touched me now. It's time to try to kill you but yeah stage 35 with a test build and No strikers and one support is honestly pretty good. This is what we expect out of our um, This is what we expect out of our paywall characters if I'm gonna if I'm gonna throw money down I need to know that I'm going to get my money's worth. And you know what? I definitely think you're getting your money's worth with Slapstick. He's not going to be the, the strongest character in the game in terms of raw damage and abilities. And I think that's a good thing to point out because if he was... Can we roll away with the... with the? We can't. Okay, you can't roll away. We're going to die here. We're going to... Oh, we didn't die. Wow. Oh, we did die. Okay, good. That was really... That was actually very comic book. Okay. So here's the thing with Slapstick. You don't want him to be super powerful because um, then it would be, a, a, you know, it would be, a, it would be a blatant cash grab. Oh, Net Marble, you're just trying to get money out of us by introducing this super broken, super powerful character, right? They could have put Silver Surfer as a native tier two uh, for w that you purchase for money, for example. There you just see how much Conqueror level I got as well. They could have made Silver Surfer cost money, right? I mean, Silver Surfer has a difficult uh, acquisition method, sure, but it's free. 
Now think about it that way. Silver Surfer is one of the best characters in the game. If they had put Silver Surfer behind a green... Get green Surfer money? <laughs> It's a pretty bad joke. Anyways, if they had put Silver Surfer behind a paywall, that would look like a cash grab. You want to be number one in PvP. You want to push your, your, you know, your stats, and you want to be able to get this character that has revive and 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 iframe ignore and all this stuff. You're gonna have to throw cash. So it's good that Slapstick, in this case, although he costs money, real money, it's good that he's not super powerful. He's definitely powerful. He definitely is worth the money, in my opinion, if you want a strong character. But especially if you love his animations, because you're not gonna get. For, for free or for $10, you're not going to get another character in Marvel Future Fight that looks like this and that has animations like this. His animations are super unique. Some of the some of the bases of the animation, like the swinging around in a circle, those are sort of um, copied from other characters. But in terms of how he looks, there is not a single character in the game that looks anything like him. Um, and so unlike some of these other paywalls that come out from time to time, I really do think that he earns uh, the right to be considered a bio sub character. He's unique. He's a niche character. Um, he has some strong abilities, definitely, but he's definitely not overpowered. He's definitely not too strong that he's going to make you know a huge impact or he's going to shift the meta. He just brings a lot of good abilities together. He's fun to play. He's you know a, I, I've said it a, a bunch of times. He's got super good animations. Um, yeah, and so I think it's the perfect character for the bio subscription. But let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with me or not that Slapstick is sort of the best type of character for the bio subscription? Because you don't want to see in my opinion anyways, I don't want to see super popular, super iconic characters in the bio subscription because that's one of the sort of, uh, that's one of the charms of Marvel Future Fight is that the most iconic, the most marquee characters, the Wolverines, the Captain Americas, the Thors, uh, you know, the Jean Greys, uh, the Scarlet Witches, they're all grindable. It could take you days or weeks or months, but they're grindable. They are not behind any sort of money wall. There's a crystal wall, for some of these characters, you got to get Magneto, yada, yada, yada. But they give you crystals every day for logging in. They give you crystals weekly and monthly. You'll get it eventually, absolutely. Um, but then you have these more niche characters, right? You have your Victoriouses or you have your Slapsticks or you have other characters maybe like... You know, Gambit and Juggernaut are a little bit more popular, but they're not as popular as characters like Rogue or Wolverine. So I do think in that sense, the Marvel Future Fight devs have done a great job of recognizing which characters should be part of the Bio subscription and the X-Gene subscription, and which ones should still maintain their sort of marquee, iconic, obtainable, uh, grindable status. So yeah, what do you guys think of Slapstick, and are you going to be picking him up? I'm absolutely going to be picking him up, and I might be doing some content with him at Tier 1 to see how well he can do. I might like totally deck him out with the CTP and stuff at Tier 1 to see if he can do uh, you know, any kind of higher-end content, because I, I believe I believe he might be one of the best. He's also universal, which is super helpful at Tier 1 uh, if you slap a Mega Rank Up ticket on him, because he can do Shadowland stages quite easily, um, and he's flexible for content. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you and Lady Deadpool in the next video. Take care.